Hey guys, and welcome to the Net Chance Watch. But, to this, to this episode, I would like to throw out with a shout out to a silly pony, aka Mini Applesat, who this morning on, who this morning on Saturday tweeted this. I already gave her my to Darwin's idea so on Twitter, but I'll say it once more here. I'm very sorry to hear that you lost somebody you care about. It is never easy to go through this. When people die, it's such as not fun. And I hope everything goes well. And I hope some of the viewers here would, that wise, you know, do some to Dorrance's or what's Twitter. I know it's not easy and it's gonna be hard, but just remember they're in a better place now. I wish I could um be better at this type of thing, but I don't really know what to say, so I'm just giving this shout out and respect. I'm sorry to hear that somebody close to you died and they're in a better place. If you need any support, well, we'll be here for you. Anyways, I'll put the link to a tumble down in the description below, so tomorrow and Sunday when it is up, you can, um, you know, do the same. I am terrible at this. Anyways. The new episode of Friends with Magic, Season 6, Episode 22, PBOV. From what I could gather, the upload was time enough to put that whole title here, Pony Point of View. Pony Point of View. From the thumbnail, Wordy and Applesad are pirates searching for treasure. I don't know, the thumbnail was says of the two of them on the ship during a storm. I mean, my God, if they go on a pirate adventure, yes! But there's only one way to find out, and I'm not wasting any more time. So, yeah, Taylor, my brother's wife, has her two tears over today. I'm still coughing every now and then. Tough is always the last thing, the only thing to get rid of. So, without further ado, let's start the new episode. Ugh. Oh, what? I'm gonna get one out and I am gonna eat one. I hate it when people upload stuff like that. Go to the bit of wars. I once found a video that claimed to be an episode, but when I clicked on it, it was an adult plus 18 only image. People are shorts. Of course, that could have been a Accident with this palsy in the end. Maybe this particular user didn't know that. I have no idea. But, darling over. Uh, not much else. Okay, good. Uh, I'm probably gonna cut that out, maybe. Maybe not. I might have to re-download the episode. It's just Pinkie Pie Rarity and Applejack are getting back from their Seaward show boat trip, and I can't wait to hear all about it. Sure. It's such a shame Ringo Dash and Fluttershy had to miss it for their Cloudsdale flight school reunion. Maybe the rest of us not going was for the best anyway. I know the three of them were really looking forward to getting out of their element. Yeah, I'm gonna say bad fired. Bad. I just wanted to try something new. Huh. I guess a boat trip qualifies as that. My only worry is that they'll be so excited to talk about it. Just to be safe. I need you to take notes. Uh, right. Honey and Yemen. Honey and Yemen. 
No luck in the case. <laughs> oh, missed that. Were they wearing her detective outfit again? You don't have to worry about them talking over each other. <laughs> but you're a good character, and you need to have another episode. So I guess I can figure out what happened. The flip was a disaster, and the thumbnail, which I guess the same thumbnail for it. No, the thumbnail of this for then was different. Anyway, I suppose that there was a storm, something to do with the map. Apple Bloom wasn't on the first, so she didn't use the map this time. Maybe Apple Jack ripped the wheel off. <laughs> Get in! I don't know what happened on that boat trip, but once Rarity Applejack and Yeah, I'm not cut out the previous part. Probably. Wait a minute. Which one of those we not? Wait, what's Starlight? Again? Again? Starlight's not gonna appear? Well, maybe she'll appear later. You mean your fingernails, don't you? Your claws. So what did? Sorry, oh no, I'm missing a minute. Stella might upset about everything that happened on the boat, Applejack. Why did Pinkie Pie ride on Jeremy? Today, but there's a small problem with the guest list. Plus, I'm right in the middle of a very important cupcake. So what in the heck happened? Come on, Spike. Give me this. We're gonna get three different viewpoints. And it's probably gonna be a full viewpoint that towards everything. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry, but my mane wasn't made to support marine life. <laughs> oh, oh, he's peed off. Ruined. Ruined. I don't know, Rarity. You were gonna be tapping such bell, won't, won't you? No, you can fix that. You're worthy. You can fix anything. About that, Spike and I were wondering what happened out there. Seriously, you can't take the notes for once. Well, it is worthy. So, the recall of the fading seer. Haven't seen that since season two. Oh, let's see what the different point of views are. Looking forward to Apple's ads. Pirate ships! So, those type of ships are tanning. Let me ask. What year is this show technically in? Captain Abraham! She's gonna be up to a right well, aren't you? Unless you'll be saying there's gonna be a shot in the water. So yeah, shit that's going on that type of shit. This has to be around the age of the pirates. So, 1880, 19 something. This show seems very inconsistent in what decade it's in. What century are you in? We're in the 21st century, so... What century is the show in? I really want to know that. pop torn Final Fantasy has, um... Up-to-date, um... Whatever you call those things, these fans. She's the DJ. And I don't think you had DJs when we used ships like that. That is not how episode acts. Oh, sorry. I had no idea you had such distaste for cucumbers. Yar, har, 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 har. Ah, 
I see. She just she's making that up. That's what she believed that Pashat was acting like, but that's not how she really acted. Storm. Oh my god, Davy Jones is coming for you! What is up with her eye? Mel's from? Oh my god, did I run right into powers of the Turban? All the don't enter Davy Jones is out there. You got you know, that from Barbosa, didn't you? You got that map from him, didn't you? What the fine Desmond when you want it? But need it, I mean. Yep, here's the thumbnail, I saw. It's not your ship, is it? Oh, freak mother of God, what are you doing, Apple so Heck? Why is really do you remembering that? Okay, you were lying about Applesat. Without me to, you made that up entirely. I want to know what happened, for real. That was not Applesat. Pussy was out of will, almost. Oh my god, I was right! The ship sank! Didn't I say that, say that earlier? That they were shipwreck? Called it! <laughs> oh, fight! Do not go to the old tasso. She's eating ice cream, let her eat it. Nope. Keep her away from the shop you can't show. You might want to hide that fight. Well, why? Like, why do you make fight like everything down? You have magic. You write it down. Why does not your paper boy twenty four seven fight? Like, do so with yourself. Yeah, what is up with me today? But that's not the apple symbol on the sale, but that's not the flag. That's how she probably was. I would believe that. Oh! I know what's gonna happen. One of the crewmates, maybe the one with the beard there, is going to show up and really tell what happens. That's my feeling. That one crewmate with the orange beard is going to show up and reveal what really happened. That would... Stay on Applesat's head. It fits up perfectly. So, what decade did this show take place in? But, when we eventually made hats like that, she's a naval officer. She's a navy. This show is so inconsistent with its. whatever. Let me guess. Same thing? <laughs> so, oh, you were in her own voice, and was more open to this. But, 
In Piggy's version, Woody and Epichat switch wolves. Ah, oh, okay. Oops. Davy Sounds! <laughs> no! To the floor. Um, unless you know how to show a ship, you should not be the captain. And that's why the boat sinking was already spot. That seems odd. I mean, we trust you, of course, but it's also extraordinary. Oh, it's extraordinary, all right. But that's exactly what happened. In fact, the only thing I might have gotten wrong was that there was even two porter ponies. But just to be safe, you should talk to Applejack. She'll know exactly how many porter ponies there were. Okay. okay. But if the boat sank, how did you all get rescued? Ah, oh, that's easy. We just... <laughs> that's it. We've got to go talk to Applejack. Good idea. She'll straighten Wait, out. what? I just really what? Don't know how they made it back. But yes, you can just stay and ask Pinky Pot. This one it was lazy. That was the laziest way they could have had them know the apple sack. I mean, Sammy Piggy was about to tell him. Couldn't they just wait to see that film with the bony muffins? I mean, by the time they got to Applesat, Piggy Pie would have told them how they were rescued. I'm taking the point away for that whenever I review this episode. Period. That was just lazy. Stay away from the Titanic. Oh my god. That pretty pie kills me more than Peter Mini and Tough Tates ever will. You can make Tough Tates as doughy as you want. That pretty pie. Oh god. Pirate ship! Pirate! Proper bleeding? Did she just say proper bleeding? What does she mean by proper bleeding? And that's how the food that went overboard. Should we proper bleeding? People are not gonna let that go. What have they done? By the time that this uploaded, there's gonna be a billion fan arts about that. That sure doesn't sound like Rarity or Pinkie Pie. Oh, it gets a sight worse than that. It's P.W.T. It's in the wacky time. Oh, darling. Clocking is a base pastime for colon ponies. Doesn't it eat me in the lakes? Okay, so they both seem to... Point where the as a uninterested um partake that both of these two have a as you know messy where well, he doesn't want to be there. And now, she lost her hat! Was that the one Rarity died on? Wait, so it was Rarity and Pinky's fault? Yep. And maybe if they ever apologize, I'll consider talking to them again. Go to the pony with the beard! Owen's beard is what I would call him. Go to Owen's beard! Neither do I, Spike. Neither do I. So, Sammy, 
Go back to Pinky and have a fucking tell you! She was about to tell you how they got rescued before you walked out on her. This episode would have been over by now if they would have just stayed with Pinky. Yes, you will. Go back to Pinky and have one fucking finish! The top days would have been by, would have been fine by now. Not quite. Don't be studio mod. Uh -huh. Not only do I think I know how the boat sank, I have a pretty good idea how to get Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie back together. Wait a minute. You feel those three MS and so do you know how the boat sank? I hope this plan of yours works. Seriously. Winona brought me your note about a friendship emergency. Uh, how can I help? A blessing delivered your message, Twilight. What's the emergency? It's a good thing it was time for coming back, or I might not have seen your note about the emergency, Twilight. <laughs> what are you doing here? You just now ask that? I just didn't know how else to get the three of you here together. And there really is a friendship emergency. Yours. Oh, there's no emergency. I'm just waiting for an apology. Yeah, right. Why would you want me to apologize when it was Rarity's fault? What are you talking about? Applejack clearly caused the boat to sink. She's still in the sea. Will somebody please tell me how you made it back? Oh, that's that bad. You never left. You never wear the dark. On that, at least we agree. Yeah, I know you each have a different perspective on how the boat capsized and blame each other. But if you come on the boat with me, I'll show you what really happened. Well, not that I have any doubts, but it will feel good for every pony to see exactly whose fault it was. So wait. They went out to sea, the ship sank, and that gigantic wave carried them back to the docks. There's a water entity. Oh my god, Poseidon is in front of his magic! Steven Madwin? The purple sea monster? Two double sandwiches. Wait a minute. And why would you waste a perfectly good old dog? Two double sandwiches. Why did that sound so familiar? And the swell. Cucumber just happens to be the favorite food of the trihorned bunion. And so what? followed by a swell is what happens when they swim up to the shallows from deep water. So what are they? We attracted a trihorn, whatchamacallit? With cucumber sandwiches. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> it's a dog! <laughs> it's a dog! <laughs> that was a nice fake down animators. One hundred out of fifty. Perfect fake out. <laughs> But you didn't know the days were meant for you. Two of you? The elegant cruise I thought you deserved. And I just wanted to give you two a high seas adventure. Since that'd be something new and different for y'all. Oh. Uh, I was so BC said. Maybe it was that monster that carried them back to the Dutch. I guess this just teaches us that 
Even long-time friends need to work at communication. Oh, I know why two toes sound said sounding so familiar. Right Professor Pitto. Oh, you will. Oh, it's just a two puppy. So they have sea monsters. Oh. So let me this. Rush the Kraken. Oh my god. Pirates will attain and. I love how bad it's. Definitely was adorable. <laughs> this was a good episode. <laughs> you know, there was no topic that kept, you know, pausing. But <laughs> that was such a good episode. That fatality! Oh my god! I thought a hideous monster was gonna be behind them, and when it showed it, it was such a cute, innocent puppy! <laughs> my god! <laughs> Man, Applebee, I seriously want to see where you are, watch this episode. His episodes render fast, and they upload fast. <laughs> this was a good episode. So, hmm. Oh, hey. A uh, video about Legend of Everything. Can we do it? Can we do it? we react to that movie? But, not for now. <laughs> Anyways, what was... Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> The different perspective. <laughs> well, they were kind of outmatched there because the other two seem to paint her as the same character. One that really did not want to be there. So uninterested and. <coughs> I don't know. She was like identical in both of those versions. And I don't care what you say. Pinkie Pie about to tell them how they got back to, you know, the shore. Then a muffin started burning, and then Friday and Fight says, Wrath. So because she went to take care of her muffins or toughness or whatever they were, they were to go and talk to Applesat right as she was about to tell them how they got back. White right as she was about to tell him. Twilight Bottom. She's supposed to be a brilliant character. Brilliant my effing foot. I am sorry. But that was just lazy. I mean, couldn't they just have Pinky... You know, be too angry or something. Not to finish. That she was so upset that she couldn't continue on. Or maybe something to do with the Tate's friends. Pound and pumpkin Tate needing her. Anything better to his friend. Oh, well, she's right over there. Two feet away. Let's go talk to Applesat. Seriously. I am not letting that go. That... Was stupid. But I'm pretty sure my parents are gonna tell me they want me what I'm shouting about. So let's move on. <laughs> okay, where these perspective? Applesat was totally Captain Abraham. Abraham, just paint that monster white, and you have well, <coughs> that's ain't <how it> well. <laughs> so a pirate ship. I don't want to ask, what year, century, did this show take place in? They have technology to make working microphones, DC music, a tall building, tall buildings that I'm sure has, um, 
elevators, gaze lights. They have a lot of technology, yet they do use boats from the age of pirates. This show is just inconsistent in every aspect of its time frame. It's like the show is just, it's like this, the first we are, is using stuff from all sorts of time. It's like time from a thousand years mushed down into one, you know, day. They really should have had a sailboat. A boat that is not a pirate boat. So that's what it was. A pirate ship. But who tells? I like pirates. <laughs> not really much else to say. So how did they get back? I mean, did the Sidenic Wave carry them back? Did, um, that, you know, sea creatures carry them back? It's just interesting. A Sidenic Wave ship with them, and this thing they knew, they were in water that doesn't even reach their feet, and yet, that was odd. They came out of the water neck deep, and then they suddenly just stood on their hooves. Were they laying down? Was that in the Magic Do episode? <laughs> yeah. Anyways. How did Twilight figure this out? She threw three images on the slot board, and by the way, she would have, oh, two, two Dome and Samus is equal to this monster. Or just the bubbles, which was really dopey screening mart. I guess it would make sense if she would have fought long on it, but that was so instant. I don't know, it just feels very, 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 very off. Very off. So what the heck was Starlight? This season has been, it's been a good season, but Starlight suddenly disappearing out of canon for no reason, no explanation given, she says Dawn, that does not bode well. I mean, yeah, she doesn't have to be in every episode, but if the episode does not even remotely has anything to do with her, you would never guess she even existed. I mean, seriously. At least dip or definition of where she is. Have fun, I'd say. Uh, if only Dollar was here, or I wonder what Dollar would say, or have fun, I'd say. I don't know. Just Dollar is. If the episode has nothing to do with her, she just disappears out of existence. And that's really not how you do characters. I mean, seriously. She's a character. Yeah, she doesn't have to be in every episode, but simply because the episode does not involve her, doesn't mean you should just leave her out entirely every single time. Every now and then, it would be fine to have her just randomly show up for a mall cameo. I mean, that's fine. Just don't write her out of canon until, you know, you actually decide to do an episode with her. I mean, at the very start of this episode, there are these mentioned that Rainbow Dash and Fertisai missed the ship. Why? Because they were busy doing something. They were in Cloudsdale. That is how you that is how you do it. So yeah, Fight Club, Fertisai, Fight Club. That's like. And that fight going to a club about 
Father is raging. Raging a kid. Parents do. It just seems out of character for him. I mean, maybe she was at a cheerleader for Rainbow Dash? Maybe she was always there for moral support? So, Fight Club. I cannot wait to see those fan images. So, this is the Oh My God. I'm gonna drop this here. I thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next episode. This was a fun episode. <laughs> I don't care, I want this... Wait, what am I saying? I want to see that monster again. <laughs> and I want to see these tales that spread up by pirates. Do it. Should be that weird... hat Apple Set had a ball in. It really should be short. <laughs> so, what was it with that fresher? Was it a family fresher map? Did Freddy Miff hand it to her and it was passed down from generations? I don't know. Well, I like that to do, so I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. <sighs> Hopefully, at the, if the show continues onward, Starlight will show up in more episodes. Even if it's just a more Tamayo, see so that these not be written out of existence. Does that is a that shows the writers does not even care about Starlight. I mean if they keep forgetting she exists and choosing not to mention where she is I mean the animators are doing the same thing. Showing up in the back five with no lines. Why is this so Writing Starlight out of canon until her episodes. Is this not right? Well, at least she's gonna be in the season finale. So I at least know she's gonna be in that. And hopefully, if we do the season seven, they will stop for dating see it sits and actually tell me her the reason why she's not in the episode. Well, not in every episode, but every now and again. As long as she's not, as long as she's not running out of assistance for every single episode, I'll be fine. Anyways, thank you for watching. So I went on, but I'm stopping myself before the goes on too long. And again, mini episode. I hope everything goes well for you, and you have everybody on Twitter and your friends who are alive for support. You are not alone, so don't worry. I'm dropping the video now. <laughs> Sorry, that fake out with that monster was just dove in. <laughs>